Hello everybody, welcome back to some more Luck Be a Landlord. My name is APQ. Now, we had a different kind of build yesterday from me. I mean, it was still it was still a geologist build or an archaeologist build. I'm still not really over that change. Um, so, obviously it's an APQ build because I love archaeologist slash geologists. Uh, but we also did diamond and dames in with that build, which is something that I rarely, rarely do. I like, I... I usually take like one or two coals, and sometimes I take more, and then I lose because I take them too early, and then. But I, I rarely take dames. I rarely take more than one dame. So, it was a it was a fun build for me. It was new for me yesterday. And I would like to try more dame builds to be honest, because I feel like that could have gone further if we uh, could have cleaned the board up a little bit more. Um, obviously, we could not clean the board up any more than we already did because they changed the removal token process. Oh, they're not the process removal tokens, but the, the, yeah, you know, the way you get them, you get them every other turn now instead of every turn, then it kind of changes things, um, which sucks. If we had a capsule machine and then we could have, you know, took a few uh, removal capsules would have been uh, pretty big, but unfortunately, it does not work that way. It's an injured mouse. Let's go. So today, I'm just going to do what we usually do and just sort of build literally a jumble of rubbish like you can see here. We have got candy and a jack-o'-lantern, so I really want to get a toddler pretty soon. Okay, monkey ate banana. We have got a banana peel to deal with. We have got a bounty hunter, so even if we add a thief, there's a chance that the bounty hunter might destroy the thief instead of the banana peel, which is a worry. Um, but it's cool. We've got some spades on the board already, which means could be another suit build. Oh, we've got to take a cultist just in case. So looks like we're going to be doing okay here though. We can buy like 100 with 82 spare, which is kind of nice for that payment. So there's a pinata for the toddler that we hopefully are going to get. Thieves give two times more when destroyed. I know this is good, but we've got a thief on the board. So no, we're going to add a thief to the board at some point, I hope. We've got a removal token. What do we remove first? Um, I'm not sure. We are going to add a key, even though we haven't got a box to open. We need to remove something soon though. Like, let's, let's remove a one cost symbol, All right? Let's remove, let's remove a cherry. Probably should remove the goose. Wait, the goose actually laid a golden egg already? What the heck? I mean, we'll try coal. This is obviously a very jumbled build, and uh, it's fine. We just, we just need a toddler to come in and clean it up. Item capsule. Go on. Wait, we didn't even roll it. That's how jumbled the build is already. Um, do we want another banana for the monkey? I don't think we do. We've already got two banana peels on the board. we got a purple pepper from our item capsule. Um, gotta go for another item capsule. I know there's a monkey there, but gives one gold to every ten symbols destroyed. Yes, please. Hopefully we can stack that up. Uh, lock box because we do have a key somewhere. Somewhere in this build we have a key, I promise. Beer for the dwarf. So we, we need things to start lining up now. It's going to help us clear the board up. I'm not going to take that peach just yet. I know it's too valuable, but we've already got a board full of useless things. Uh, I think a reroll capsule though, start stacking those up before we get some rare choices. 225 in one spin. Okay, so it looks like we're barely going to make this one after making the other one so easily. So pay 225 with 17 spare. Okay, we need to clean this board up. Removal capsule is a yes. Oswald the monkey, yes. We're going to use the removal capsule to remove the pearl for now. Capsule's gone, key gone, lockbox gone. Okay, nice. Also gives us another removal token, which we're going to use to remove the coin. We do still have two banana peels, but I'm hoping we get a thief. We'll probably remove the bounty hunter before we get a thief. We are going to add another candy. I'm actually praying here that we get a toddler. Candy is is too value because of the jack the uh, the jack o' lantern that we've got. Um, but obviously, I'd still like a toddler to come in and clean up the candy would be nice. We've also got a pinata that needs breaking. So two seven five and three in two spins. Oh no. We're not going to make that. We are not going to make that. Oh well, we can start again. It's first run of the day. Yeah, we did not make it. We really needed a toddler there, but it's cool. Can we go again, you know? First run of the day, it's always like that. What can I say? Um, going to stay away from eggs for a little bit, unless we get a like a chicken coop or the, bit, or the birdhouse. We will get a dwarf into the build, though. Early coal. Yeah, go on. Early coal. To send me to my my losing place faster. Oh, pay twenty five with four spare. That's what you get for taking a uh, 
a coal. So I'm losing my train of thoughts today. Trying to, I almost said train of speech. Train of thoughts today. So I apologise. First video of the day. It's kind of a. Uh, it's not that early actually. It's like half ten. Um, however, I don't usually record to the afternoon, but I thought I'd sneak a video in here when I was at work, quite kind of early. The uh, the benefits of working from home, I guess. At the minute, pay 50. We've got four spare. Oh no, void stone. We've got a monkey, so we're gonna do, gives free, at least three empties actually. We're gonna do that for now. I know it would make the monkey worth two, but we'll take that instead. Now we get the toddler, after we have no candy and no pinatas on the board and no jack o' lantern, but it's cool. We've already got a monkey, we've got cheese, so we're gonna take a mouse. Nice, mouse ate the cheese pretty pretty quickly. Um, we are gonna take a clubs just in case. It's kind of really hard to know what you're going to build now, especially with cultists being zero cost. You know, a second piece of coal. We're getting a bit a bit brave here, aren't we? Pay 100 during one spin. We're on 110 right now. So we pay 100 with 27 spare. It's not as good as the last one, was it? We had 80 spare, but... A wealthy capture or a spade. I'm going to get a spade. Here I'm going to get... Ooh, this is good, but... We're going to go lunchbox. We're going to add some symbols. We're going to add beer for the dwarf. We're gonna add wine for the dwarf. We're gonna add wine for the dwarf. Let's go. We're gonna hold on to the removal token right now. The dwarf just got some drink on. Let's go. Cheese for the mouse. Oh, let's go. Yeah, it straight away. We absolutely love to see it. Beer for the dwarf. Yo, the dwarf is. Oh my god, the dwarf's on a session right now. Let's go. Um, do, no, 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 no. One fifteen free spins. I should have added something there. I didn't realize how thin our board was. I'm gonna add a hooligan just temporarily. Oh wow, our board actually is kind of empty, isn't it? 150 during one spin. Hooligan breaks it in, so it's at an in. Yo, who wait. Wait, we don't even need a hooligan because we've got grave robber, dude. <laughs> okay, we paid 150. Big in. Yo, these are all good. I feel like this one needs to be the one though, right? Whenever we destroy a thief, avoid yo. If we get a Zaroth now, would be kind of pretty pog. There's our first diamond, our first coal into diamond. Gonna get an urn. We're gonna use our removal token on the flower because I hate flowers. Nice. Turn to a coconut. Monkey ate the coconut. Two urns broke. Oh, it's beautiful. Beautiful. Do we have a key? We do have a key. So we are gonna add a lockbox and just hope that they come across each other. Oh, we got a safe as well. That's a 5% chance of adding spirits. As five spirits when destroyed. I mean, it's gonna get destroyed straight away because the shrine. Let's go. I mean, the grave robber. Okay. Big urn. Oh, my life. We just need the Undertaker now. Give us the Undertaker, a few witches, and rusty gear. Maybe. Do we have candy on the board for the toddler? We actually don't. So, we're going to avoid that pick for now, I think. Oh, my life. Look at the spirits. Okay, roll 66. Another coal. Let's go. 225 is during one spin, and we're currently on 375. So, we pay that with 150 spare. Let's go. That's good. Item capsule, I know there's other choices there. Now we're gonna get the horseshoe. I'm gonna use a removal token on the cherry. I'm gonna keep the coin for a little bit just in case we get like a free X coin. There really is. The only thing that improves the value of a cherry is like a fruit basket or a missed fruit, so. Um, do we have, I'm gonna skip that. Even though our deck is completely empty right now because we've lost all of our spirits. Okay, we are gonna add a thief though. There's a banana pit on the board and the thief gives us a spirit when destroyed. Okay. Another cultist, let's go. I used to call this worth one instead of zero now, so that's helpful. Another urn. Oh, there's an item capsule. I rushed my pick. Oh no, the commenters are gonna get angry again. I rushed my choice. Oh well, dude. <laughs> um, we're gonna skip. I need to stop skipping, really. I have like a lot of choice right now. Okay, 275 paid, 109. Yo, we could add a chicken. I'm going to add a thief, though, instead. Oh, dwarfs give two times more. We're going to take that. I know there's a wanted poster, but the thief is more for the spirit, I guess. But I suppose we could have got a bonus there. Chemical seven. Let's go. So we want some more, like, wine and stuff for the dwarf now, because, you know, they give two times more. Take some cheese for the mouse. A little bit of extra gold, you know. 16. I mean, that's, that's quite high, actually. Do we want a bounty hunter to come in and destroy the thief? I don't think we do. I think I'd rather keep the thief for a while. There's a banana peel though, but we're gonna go item capsule. Okay, swear jar, not the best, but it'll do. There's our toddler that we've wanted for like the last three games. We've already got one though, it's kind of useless. We're gonna, go, we're gonna get a key so we can add a 
like a safe or something down the line. I don't want any of those. Oh man, I need to add stuff. But I don't want to fill it with rubbish. Beer for the dwarf, 100%. Happy hour would be like super good right now. We pay 375 with two spare. Wow. That shows how much we struggled about the spirits. We are going to add an apple. We are going to add a big symbol bomb. Big symbol bomb gives us the ability to add more coal. Avoid stone. Another dark suit. And then more coal. Oh, this is... That's stupid of me. I said like, we've got like four coal on the board now. Or three coal. One is about to change though. We can pray. We can add a sapphire for some stupid reason. I don't know why I've just added a sapphire to the board. Honestly, I apologize on behalf of... Well, myself. <laughs> this turns into a diamond next turn. So that's kind of helpful. Miss fruit could come in and eat the fruit. But we haven't got any fruit on the board. So I removed the cherry. Um... I've got a plum though. And we'll, we'll add Miss Fruit, right? Oh no. Chemical 7. This is going to be a bad run. It started out so well. I've just absolutely destroyed it. 450 during free spins. We're going to need a banana here for the monkey. Chemical 7 broke. Miss Fruit ate a plum. Oh no. We're going to have to get a ruby. We just need anything we can get right now. Oh, we're not making 450. Oh dear. Well, I kind of killed that run, didn't I? Oh, well. We go again. We're only 11 minutes in. We can use Swear Jar. Oh, we can't. Okay, we go again. Come on. Give us a nice early indicator of what build we can go. Early beer. Probably should have taken an early key there. Oh, we definitely should have taken an early key because there's a lockbox right after it. Oh, no, dude. Uh, cherry for now. I don't want a bounty hunter. I don't want an egg, that's for sure. I will take a toddler. Hopefully, we get like early candy and pinatas and jack o' lantern again this time. <sighs> Gonna add Sapphire. We're gonna add Lucky Cat. Let's go. We are gonna add a. Do I wanna add a thief this early? We're gonna add a monkey. I feel like an early thief is strong, but I'm just scared that it's gonna it's gonna ruin us, dude. Three sided dice for now, even though I hate three sided dice. Another beer for the eventual dwarf that I'm hoping will show up on my screen any time now. Okay, never mind. Now we could get a cat. We're going to get a cat. I know we've got a toddler for candy, but we've got a lucky cat. So the more cats, the better things we find. Coconut for the monkey. Okay. It's got to be fruit basket here. Makes the cherries worth two. And the coconut half worth three. Let's go. Okay. Wine for the eventual dwarf. <laughs> oh, no. Please give us a dwarf. There's a dwarf. There's the dwarf. Okay. There we go. The dwarf's got three things to drink, so he can carry on with that. We'll take a martini for now. It's free value. And if we obviously get a dame, she, she likes to drink those. We'll add a mouse just for temporary measures. Allows us to add cheese if we need to fill the board. We're going to add a removal caption instead here, though. Start stacking those up. We obviously don't need to use it yet because our board's not even full, but we always need removal capsules. It's 100 with 93 spare. That's nice. Treasure chest. I think it's going to be a... It's going to have to be an item capsule. Uh, happy hour because we've got free drinks on the board right now. Although he has just drank the uh, the beer. It's cool though. It's cool. We are going to add a cultist and pray that we get more. Please. I really want a cultist build. I still have not gotten a really good cultist build. You know, my like, first video was... I know my second video was an attempt at a cultist build. But it just it wasn't good. Reroll capsule will stack you instead. I don't want a B or a hex. Really? I'll add another sapphire for now. Ah. Our board is getting thin. Golem, do we want a golem? No, we'll add a ninja though. For now, two value. And if we get ninja mouse, it works. So we paid 150 with 167 spare. We shall add a safe. Oh, I know this is good and it's rare, but I want lockpick. We got two boxes that need opening. It saves us taking keys. Let's get a wealthy capsule in. Cracked open the lockbox. Nice. Wealthy capsule broke as well. 67 gold. Let's go. Lucky capsule. Give us something tasty, please. I beg. A chicken, we're going to re-roll. A farmer, we're going to re-roll. A witch, or a gold. We're going to have the golden arrow, dude. Very rare. We're obviously trying to go with a few cats here, so... Because of the lucky cat, but... A witch would not have made that much of a difference, as I think the golden arrow will. Once it points to our zero-cost cultist. Oh, dude. Really? Okay. Okay. There's our second cultist, finally. Makes them worth one gold. Let's go. We pay 225, 185 spare. Coconut for the monkey. Oh, gotta be a cursed katana. 
We're not going to remove anything yet because our deck still isn't really considered full. Uh, another removal capsule though added to my hand. Yes, please. Stacking those up ready so we can get rid of the uh, the rubbish. Do we want more coals? No, we've got no coals this run. We're going to add coconut for the monkey. Golden arrow points to the spin button. We absolutely love golden arrow, dude. We're going to skip all of those choices. I mean, it'll do. It'll do. We're going to skip all of those choices as well. That's a bit better from the golden arrow. We're going to skip all of those. Oh, no. We're just not getting good choices right now. Okay, there's a third cultist. Now, I know we've got lucky cat, which means we're less likely to find cultists because they're common, but it's still nice to, you know, have a few on the board. Okay, another removal capsule. We're going to add horseshoe. I'm not trying to go for a suits build just yet. We tried two suits build in two days and we didn't get to where we wanted to, so. Unless it throws like a suits build into my hand, then I'm not going for it. We will add a hustling capsule at this stage. I feel quite confident where we're at money wise. For now, not long term. There's another cultist. Let's go. Takes the total up to four cultists now. If we roll all of them at once, which would be nice. Do we start removing stuff yet? I think we don't because we've got these empty spaces still. We don't want any of those. We definitely don't want an oyster to flood the flood the build without a geologist. Add beer for the dwarf. It's worth two anyway, but then he drinks it, so he clears up a space straight away. We can add another cat, which is kind of brave of me. It means we get less cultists. Probably shouldn't have done that way. Cat's worth two. Oh yeah, we got pizza the cat. I didn't even realise. We also got that from an item capsule and I missed it. Okay, so cats aren't too bad right now. 375, let's go. 239 spare, that's nice. Miss Fruit could come in and replace the monkey. Yes. Oh, ninja and mouse. I'm going to need a grave robber though because I do like spirits. We're going to use this to remove the monkey. We're not going to remove anything else yet because the deck isn't exactly full. So the reason I've removed the monkey is because Miss Fruit basically is a better version of the monkey. Um, it just stacks up the coconuts and the bananas as well as the cherries and the plums and the oranges and the peaches um, to a, like a, a total value instead of maybe like 11 around a uh, spin so it's very handy we are going to add cheese for now we've still got a mouse miss fruit ate another cherry let's go your golden eye point towards the martini and the cultist that was nice let's go let's go rolling 58 this is looking better Coconut for Miss Fruit or Chemical 7. It's got to be coconut, right? It gives a total of three value to a total because it splits into two. Then I'm going to add more cheese for the mouse. We're going to hope this mouse can eat this cheese up pretty soon. I've got removal tokens though to start removing stuff soon. We're going to add a peach. I'm going to go in and I'm going to remove the coin and the pill for now. I'm going to hold on to the mouse and the toddler for a while. There you go. Both of the cheeses are gone. Fills up some space on the board. The flower will actually be next to go. We pay 450 with 291 spare. Do we want a off this build? We do not want a off this build. We will, however, take a lunchbox because it gives us the opportunity to add some fruit. Plum. Ooh, we're going to add coconut half though instead. And we're going to add another peach. Let's go. So they're all for Miss Fruit. So we want to remove the flower and the toddler next. We are going to add a lockbox because we've got a lockpick. Lockpick got opened straight away. This points towards the cat. Not too bad. Lockbox over 16. We are going to add another cat. We're going to use this to remove... The flower for right now. Okay, nice. Miss Fruit gave us 20 because Golden Arrow pointed towards it. Coconut half for Miss Fruit. We'd love to see it. And the full coconut. Oh, and two coconut halves again. There's still a full coconut and a coconut half over here. Yo, Miss Fruit loves the coconut. We're not going to add any more black suits. Not that we have any. That was actually last turn we had this in black suits. I mean, last run. I'm not going to add any of those. The cats. The only way the cats are going to help us now is if we get rusty gear, to be honest. Peach. Okay, nice. Let's go. Miss Fruit eating the coconut again. What's on the board left here to eat now? Is it just a plum? We all go lucky capsule here. Oh, it's a plum and a peach, and she ate both of them. Golden arrow pointing to the dwarf. Okay, we still roll 63 there though. Beastmaster affects cats, so we are going to take a Beastmaster. Okay, that's a smart decision. Also affects the mouse, which is okay. Okay, we got 90 from that roll. Let's go. Pay 575, 301 spare. Oh. So food give two, gives two, time, uh, two times more, but obviously I don't really want that. We could add a treasure chest. We could add a witch for the cats. Let's try it. We're then going to go void portal. We're not going to remove anything just yet. Although what do we re really remove next, to be honest? The toddler, I think. Um, 
item capsule. Come on, give us something tasty. We didn't even roll the item capsule, like hello. Okay. We need to add some stuff. We're gonna add a safe. Probably should have added a pool ball there, but it's cool, honestly. Coconut for Miss Fruit again. We need the lockbox to open that safe pretty soon, and we need the golden arrow to play a part in this run. Buffing capsule. The safe has been opened. The golden arrow pointed off the board, not to the safe. Item capsule again, let's go. Max for the bear, okay. Buffing capsule, I mean, got us still 93 gold, so I'll take it. We don't, we don't have any bears. We're gonna, actually, I thought that was a rare choice because we had two rares to choose from, but I guess that's just what Lucky Cat does to us. Okay, coconut half. I feel like we need more fruit and seeds and stuff than we do rares, so maybe we start removing cats soon. Another cultist though, we'll add that to the board, that's for sure. This points to the cultists and the toddler and the sapphire. We got 20 from that cultist, we'll take it. We pay 650 with 350 free spare. A dame. Um, no, we're gonna roll a little bit. Oh, geologist. Gonna roll a little bit more, gonna roll a little bit more. We'll add a, tre a treasure chest. Dwarven anvil makes dwarfs two times more. I mean, it's worth two now, it's not really, you know. Right, we are gonna remove the toddler though. We're gonna add coconut for the toddler. No, for the Miss Fruit. We're gonna remove the toddler. Do we remove the mouse yet? Can we remove the free sided die actually first? Obviously our deck is now not very full, but we did roll five cultists that time, so it makes them all worth five. Let's go. Item capsule. We got a white pepper. Gives you three whenever you gain a multiple of three after a spin. 122 rolled, let's go. We did just remove the toddler, so a pinata is now useless to us. So you've got a witch and beastmaster on the cats. This is a very weird build. Oh, we're gonna go coconut. I get tempted by the Midas bomb every time, but it's just gonna absolutely destroy the run if it kills anything here. Take two full coconuts and a coconut half that Miss Fruit needs to get her hands on. We're gonna add a removal capsule. Come on, we need these to get close to Miss Fruit. We're still rolling 76 though, which is obviously nice. She eats oranges, so we should add an orange. She's eating the orange straight away. Why not the coconuts, dude? You were loving coconuts earlier. We roll 95, chemical 7, we should have added the wine for the dwarf, but... Sure, okay, there's half a coconut eaten. Nice, Miss Miss Fruit. 97 rolled, item captured again. Did we roll it? We did roll it. It gives us... Oh, no. Okay, it's good. I thought it was one where it adds rabbit fluff every 10 turns. <laughs> Peach. I know you've got Grave Robber, but I want to just add any fruit that we see to fill Miss Fruit up. Pay 700. 598 spare, 777 due soon. We'll add a tomb because we've got a grave robber. We will add a barrel of dwarfs. Actually, it gives two if none of the symbols are empty. I mean, sure. Even though we should probably take uncommon so we get the better uncommon show up down the line. Okay. We roll 96. Another cat. We're going to add it just for now. I know it's insane of me. But we're going to add another cat. Don't you worry. The mouse probably needs to go soon, to be honest. And we've got a witch and a beastmaster, so I'm not too worried about the cats. Like these ones that give us like this one gave us eight because of the witch and the beastmaster, so I'm gonna skip those choices. Just looking at do we really want to remove the cat right now? I meant the cat, sorry, the the, the mice. Gonna add an orange instead of a pool ball there. We we want all fruit that we can take, obviously. For another Miss Fruit video. <laughs> More coconut, oh my life. Coconuts are so good because it stacks like three in total when she eats it. Like now, look, it takes it to, I took it to 30, then she ate another fruit as well, but coconuts are so good for Miss Fruit. Wine for the dwarf is a yes. So wait for these spirits to destroy so we can see the border a bit better and see if we're rolling full or not. More coconuts, let's go. Okay, there's a lot of spirits going here. Golden arrow point to the cats, we'll take it for now. 122 rolled. Okay, come on, point towards... No, it points towards the horseshoe, which of course gives us nothing. I feel like if it points towards an item, it should maybe, you know. Is this worth six? Is it worth adding? I don't think so. I mean, it's worth more than like a sapphire and stuff is, but we don't want it in our deck eventually, you know. Pay 777 with 910 spare. We do continue into endless. We could add a sun. We could add all of this. We're just going to add a spirit instead. <laughs> we are going to add a blue pepper. 
We're going to hold on to our removal tokens for a little bit longer. The wine is gone. Golden arrow points off the board again. So we get rid of the mouse and the sapphires next, I think. Let's do... Let's get rid of the mouse now. We'll hold on to the sapphires for a little bit longer because we're still not rolling a full board. And we've got a spirit and a plum, a temporary, and a coconut. It's all temporary, so... Lucky capsule? Yeah, sure. Why not? Okay, now there's some coconut eaten. That spirit's about to go. Okay. Plum, 100%. I know there's a choice to add honey there, and maybe we could re-roll some, for some rares, but the plum is what we want. Um, we want to go... I'm going to go chemical 7, because we've already got one 7, so we one more off a 77 free gold, which is kind of just nice. Just roll 122. We're going to add... I mean, they're both the same to us, really. So we're going to add peach. Once again, our sheet's the peach straight away. Point to the cultist. It'll do for now. Because it's 20 gold. We roll 125. Let's go. Big urn, because we've got grave robber. It broke straight away. Let's go. We've got two plums ready to be eaten. Uh, more fruit. Let's go. Okay, I think we start to take the sapphires away now. I think we keep the cats for as long as we can. Another peach. Yeah, let's get rid of the sapphires. Because they're not really doing anything. They're not adding anything apart from two value, which is what like even the cats are doing, you know? Obviously, the cats have better adjacencies with the witch and the beastmasters. Wine for the dwarf. Wine also is worth three instead of two, so it's worth it for a while if the dwarf doesn't eat it, which is why I'm still keeping the dwarf on the board. Because it gives us the opportunity to carry on adding alcohol. We do pay a thousand with 1276 spare. Another beastmaster for the cats. I've just gotten rid of the ninja uh, the mouse, but we will take ninja mouse. Just looking at what's next to go from the build, and honestly, probably the ninja. Now it has no adjacencies. We need to fill up the board a bit first. Item capsule. Oh, I need to change pages here to see what it gives us. This is such a weird build, honestly. Like, what do I title builds like this, you know? Okay, we got a pickaxe, which I mean, I don't really care for anyway, so it's fine. Okay, that's some nice adjacencies here. On the cats, anyway. 122 rolled. Wealthy capsule coming in. Oh, points towards a cultist, which is obviously fine. Would have liked to point the other way. Could have pointed towards a cultist, a martini, and a wealthy capsule, but we still roll 152. We add another plum for Miss Fruit, which she does not eat straight away. Golden arrow points downwards towards my desk. Interesting. Another plum. Okay. We don't want to remove the ninja because our board isn't full, but that is definitely next to go. Another wealthy capsule. We just keep adding capsules and temporary items, which is why our board's not filling up. But well, the only way the board's going to get any more full is with cultists or cats, really. More oranges for Miss Fruit. It pointed towards Miss Fruit, a cat and a cultist. That's kind of good. And a plum. That's huge. 274 rolled. Let's go. Reroll capsule. Another temporary capsule added to the board, as well as Miss Fruit eating a plum. So our board is still getting thinner before we actually add anything to it. Yeah, you know, wild card is definitely getting added to the build. Because that with golden arrows works like a charm. Pay 1500. Let's go. Um, do we want a silver arrow? No. Do we want a bartender? I'm going to say yes. We will take a big symbol bomb. What can we add? Chemical 7. That's our 377 sorted. A reroll capsule. A spirit. And a void creature. Let's go. Put it towards the wild card, which obviously isn't huge, but it's going to give us... Oh, it's next... Yeah, that is huge. It's next to Miss Fruit. Big urn. I didn't note Miss Fruit right there. Okay, I forgot which is also affect spirit, so this is working well. Nice, 161 rolled. Another big urn. We could have had a diamond there, but I'm not interested. We haven't got any of the diamonds. It's all about the spirits right now. Let's add a coconut half. Let's now go in and remove the ninja. That's like the only thing on our board that hasn't got an adjacency bonus. I mean, Martini as well, to be fair. But it's given us four because it's a happy hour. So we'll keep Martini for a little bit longer until we add some more cats or cultists. Or Beastmasters or Witches, to be fair, to that point. Lucky Capsule. Or Bartenders, actually. I'd be happy with Bartenders at this point. I'd be happy with Conveyor Belt at this point, really. 171 rolled. Another Plum. Let's go. So, like, what's actually carrying us through this build, right? It's not really Miss Fruit, is it? Or is it? I don't really know. We've got, like, a lot of adjacencies. Coconut for Miss Fruit. I'm trying to figure out in my head while I'm recording what I'm going to title the video. It's kind of a difficult one. 
Uh, we've got a lockpick, so we'll add a safe just for the, the fun of it, you know? Yeah, I might call it Cultist Cat Build, even though we haven't got that many cultists. You know? Because we've got Beastmaster and Witch, which are affecting the cats. It's obviously a Miss Fruit and a Wild Card helping out. We do pay 2,000 with 1,200 spare. Okay, we need 1,211 in 10 spins. Do we add another Miss Fruit? I don't think we do, you know? Let's add a treasure chest. We'll add a protractor. It's so every four spins, whatever's in the corner is adjacent to everything. Which would be nice. If it's to be fair, if it's anything, that'd be kind of nice. Whether it's a beastmaster, a dwarf, or a a witch, or a Miss Fruit, or a fruit, you know, it's it's kind of very helpful. As long as it's not really a cultist, we're kind of okay. Or a golden arrow or a purple plum. Why did I say purple plum? <laughs> Just a plum, dude. Okay, coconut half and coconut. We did not roll Miss Fruit there. You did spawn a uh, an alcoholic beverage though. Okay, let's see what lands in the corner. Okay, Beastmaster's in the corner. That's kind of helpful, I think. I mean, as well as cat. Yeah, I think that's okay. We roll a decent amount there, 247. Okay, more oranges for Miss Fruit. Beastmaster Witch, man. If we could get more Beastmaster Witches and cats, it would be amazing. Chemical 7, because, you know, why not? We've got a bartender who may add more Chemical 7s to the build. It's also just free money, so. More coconuts for Miss Fruit. Man, how many coconuts can one woman eat, honestly? She's eating a bunch today. Um, we could go moon. We're gonna re oh, we re-rolled for a second chemical seven. Let's go. One chemical seven away from 77 free gold. Okay. Geologist. We're gonna go hustling capsule. Add another pool ball to the mix. Golden arrow points off the screen. Okay, that was a low roll for us, but it's fine. Lucky capsule. We're hoping for more beastmasters or witches, I think. Or bartenders. We pay 2,500 of only 443 spare. This could be the end. We're gonna re-roll for a witch, let's go. We're gonna, oh my God, we're gonna take triple coins. Now is it time to add the Midas if we get a choice? Do we wanna remove anything yet? I don't think so. We still haven't got a full board. This has probably been the most refined my build has ever been and it's still a mixture of stuff. <laughs> okay, this is a nice spot for the golden arrow. Okay, it pointed towards a single cat. Are you kidding me? Could have pointed any direction and pointed towards a single cat. Okay, this is not looking good right now. Point towards Miss Fruit. Let's go. That's good. How much does that give us then? 216. Let's go. Roll 323 in total. We had wine for the dwarf. Dwarf drinks the wine straight away. Golden arrow points towards the martini. We still roll 266 though. We, have, we do need 3,000 in six spins. So we need to start rolling big. Arrow quiver would be like an insane item to receive right now. Um, item capsule. Oh, come on, please. You point towards the wild card and the witch and Miss Fruit. But you point off the board every time. We still get 271 though, so I'm not going to complain. Chemical 7 coming in again. We start off another set of 7s. We did not roll high that round. Oh, no. We're not going to make this. 3,000 during free spins. <laughs> we need some big rolls. Golden arrow points, uh towards Nori the rabbit. So thank you for that golden arrow. Okay, now we need big rolls. Come on, golden arrow, point towards. You didn't even roll Miss Fruit, this is over. We need to roll like a thousand. <laughs> we need to roll like a thousand right now. Come on, someone just go ham. Okay, point to the cats, I mean. Not really sure how to name this build, but it was a good run, to be fair. Like it was a weird build. Um, we had cultists, we had cats, we had Miss Fruit, we had witches, we had Beastmasters, we had Golden Arrows, we had a, a Dwarf, we had a Martini, which stayed there the whole game, giving us four gold. Uh, we couldn't fill our board up in order to remove the Martini, but it stayed, you know. Just want a nice little image there of a, a cat drinking a Martini or a cultist drinking a Martini would be pretty cool. Uh, <laughs> um, but thank you to everybody for watching. Um, I did enjoy the run. I enjoy the runs that we're going on now because I'm... I'm not worried about, like, you'll notice I skip the moons and the suns and stuff because I'm really not interested in those builds anymore since we've, you know, completed both of those builds before the update and uh, made videos on those. So I'm just trying to go for the fun stuff now. Uh, I am still going to try and get a cultist build. I still want to get a bigger crabs build, a bigger suits build. I want to get a full egg build, a full bartender build. Bartender relies heavily on conveyor belt and several bartenders, which I don't ever get, so... 
Um, but we're still we're, we're still grinding the game, dude. It's great. As long as there's going to be updates added to this game every two weeks, you know, I'm going to continue to play it. It really is addicting. And the fact that I'm limiting myself to playing as well, like I'm only playing for like 30 minutes a day, literally means I finish recording and I'm like, I want to do another run. But I don't. I save it for the video. So we're still going. Uh, we are going to be live on Twitch tonight. Uh, this goes out at 6 GMT. Probably be live about half seven, eight o'clock. Uh, it's, we're one stream away from hitting affiliate. And when we do, we're launching a Minecraft server, um, which will be on Friday for the Discord. So if you want to join the Discord, it's in the description. If you want to come follow me on Twitch, it's twitch.tv forward slash APQ live. Uh, we won't be streaming up your landlord, but we will be streaming other games. Um, you know, just come hang out, say hello, give me a follow. You can leave, you don't have to stay. I'm not really fussed. I uh, just want to say hello to people. But thank you for watching, guys. Carry on doing the usual YouTube stuff. And until next time, goodbye.